what I know since I just came here, I, I don't have as good a, as a knowledge of some other people, so I might not get everything accurate. But what I know is that John Bosco, he was a very caring, kind, and he was set on a goal. He saw the people, the young people who didn't have an education, and I think he, he brought them together and then he started a school, if I'm not wrong. And um, that, I think, was around 1886. I know he started in the school in Italy. The first school was in Italy, I think. And then it has grown a lot and it came around the world and now it found itself in Selbridge in Ireland. And um, yeah, that's, I think, all I know. I don't know that much because I just came, but as the years go on, I think I'll know more. I'm a former student of the school. I was part of the very first Leave and Search class that left the school here in, in 1986, and Tony McAvoy was the principal. And I've been here for the last 25 years. 19, September 1981, we got the use of an old primary school down in Selbridge to begin our new secondary school. Well, we were waiting for the new school to be built. We had a house down in Selbridge, and th this is a particularly poignant uh, photograph here of the house in the middle of a storm, a snowstorm. And we had a very heavy fall of snow that particular year that we began. When I came to Salesian College, it was a different experience, and it was new because I wouldn't have had any knowledge of a Salesian school before um, I applied for the position here. I'm very happy to say that it's been a fabulous experience the last 10 years and I've really learned a lot about the Salesian approach and the Salesian ethos and it has made a huge impact on my work as, a, as an educator. Many, many years ago there was a, a little um, saying above a, of a door in a, in a Salesian school and it said work is prayer and I fully believe that and I've always tried to embrace that in my own life that working for young people is in itself an act of prayer. My husband actually went to school here himself he went to school here back in 97 he finished his leaving cert so I'd heard lots of great things about Salesian College before I came here in 2005. I suppose every school has its uniqueness. Um, Salesian College is, is, is certainly unique in a number of different ways. Our, our ethos is really one to be experienced than something that you can actually talk about and um, it's something that we feel and it's something that we, we take part in every day. Our first group of boys were 55 uh, boys involved with five staff, a, a very small group that first year and we, we spent three years in the school below and the numbers grew then over the years and in 1984, June 1984, we transferred from the old school up to this new school here. From then on the numbers began to grow in the school each year until about 10 years later we were approaching the 700 mark. The staff obviously had grown from around f five at the beginning to 55 at this stage. Since 1984 when the school first opened here, of which I was a student back then, uh, population of the school then one or two hundred, population of the school now over 700 students, hence the reason why we put on two extensions to cope with the increasing population in Selbridge. And now we're in the, one of the outdoor spaces, so this is our main yard. We're blessed here in the school that we have so much green space. We have a Gaelic pitch, we have a soccer pitch, we have a running track, we have a grid area. So at break time and at lunch time, there's no excuse for the students to get out and get some fresh air. So now we're going to go into the new building and we'll see what classes are going on in here today. It's 
So as you can see, now this is break time. So this is the life of the school when you've got 700 students. So like when I came in in first year, it was very busy from primary school. So it was a good adjustment to knowing that like there's older lads, way older lads than me, like lads 18 years of age when I was only 12 coming in. And just knowing that I was in a safe environment was nice and that everyone was so kind. Everyone will tell you, oh, it's hard to go into first year and that like, oh, everyone hates first years, but it's nothing like that, not at all. Yeah, everyone's very kind to the first years and it's like the teacher's main goal to make sure they get settled. At first it was like a bit overwhelmed, it was a big scale and you're like, you don't know what's going on. Then gradually you just get into the swing of things and like, I mean my last year, I've been here for six years, it feels like last week was my first day in first year. Flies by, it was such great fun, like just with all your mates and everything. And the experience you learn throughout the years in the school. I enjoy the school, I think it gives me a lot of opportunities with the sports and the clubs, I really enjoy the clubs. I didn't really know that was about this school, it's my parents who told me, oh Sean, um, you're going to be going to this school and um, you're going to start this day. So I didn't really know a lot about um, Salesian College because I, I'm new to the country. It kind of seems like Salesians, they want you to succeed, like they make sure like, they make sure you get the best out of you and some of the skills kind of like just do their, like, they do the bare minimum, but I think the teachers here, like, do an excellent job in making sure you get your full potential in education. Montrez-moi la porte. Montrez-moi la fenêtre. Montrez-moi le professeur. Montrez-moi le camera. Il donne les fleurs à la fille. Excellent. Super. Excellent class. Okay. Effacé. Effacé. Super. And like as the motto says, like we care, develop, believe and together we achieve. It's all about like a sense of community. I say the Salesians that they help us a lot. We have our own brothers here in the school so they really help us. If we have any problems like at home or anything we can always go talk to them and they will always um, help us out and uh, guide us through for what we, uh, what we should do. So um, they're very, very important people in our school because um, they really do help us in every sort of way, so I find them very important here in the school. Well, like, if you see a teacher walking in the hallway, you say hello to them, and they say hello back. Like, it's, not, it's not as if, like, you don't like them. You go in with their class, with te like, you enjoy their class because they're a good teacher. And if you were to see them outside of the school, you still say hello to them and have a talk with them, even if you weren't, like, in the class. Salesian uh, school, uh, they're all connected across the world and they're everywhere, and that they all connect with each other. In first year, they had a thing called the Solace Room, when they had like um, foosball tables, and they had um, like chess and all, and it was run by the school chaplain, and like, we, we loved it. It was like a great place, because you, like at the start in school, in first year, you don't really know where your place is out in the yard, and stuff like that. So a place like the Solace Room was like a home for us, and like all the brothers and the fathers are so nice to us, and like, they interacted with us and they play against us and it all became like a fun competition and how like and they always brought the religious aspect into it which was like I mean, really enjoyed it and like sometimes during religion class we'd be taken out and we'd like learn about Don Bosco and Salesian ethos and all along those lines yeah. Father Jesmond is here as well today Say hello to the camera, Jesmond. <laughs> so a lot of them come up to play table tennis. They got table football, foosball, drafts, checkers. And again, if you just listen to the noise.
particular educational institute, it is different because we are educating young men. We are bringing them up to be good, fine young gentlemen, holistic citizens. So I would like to see us maintain that presence and also that the students, when they leave the school, that in 2040, you know, for the rest of their lives, the concepts and the teachings of being a Salesian are still with them. So they take what they learn here and what they experience and what they live in their relationships with, um, with their teachers and with their other students, that that is also brought beyond the school gates and when they grow, after they graduate from the school. I was the first principal of the school here in, began in 1981. And this photograph I have here is the very first road race we had in Selbridge in 1981. This coming Thursday we have the 38th road race and we'll have about 500 of the youngsters in the school uh, will run in the race. As a teacher here myself over the last 15 years it's really through the experiences with our students you know we we endeavor to to instill a sense of respect and a sense of a sense of responsibility in our students and as a teacher we can see that respect being given back to us from our students and it really gives them the skills to take on the world and to go out there and uh, be empowered really is, is the word I'd use and I believe it's the skills that we teach them both inside and outside the classroom that empowers them to have those life skills as, as they go through their journey in, in, in their jobs and in their, their different areas in life. Most of my time in this school has been working in the area of special education and this was a sort of a unique uh, experiment really. At that particular time only children with a diagnosis of a particular special educational need got help, whereas we created a model where any child, whether they had a diagnosis or no diagnosis, got help. In 2005, we were proud to say that we were the first school in the country at a post-primary level to look after children with autism. One golden rule that I would have is that if I'm walking along a corridor between the buildings, uh, I will always salute a student. I will always say hello, always greet them. Doesn't matter if I don't know their names, but I would never ignore a child walking past me. You know, even though I'm the principal and they're the student, I don't, there's no difference as far as I'm concerned. But you have to work at it and you have to remind yourself, um, I, I, your, your school community, and that's your parents, your teachers, your, your, your students, everyone has to be reminded. And it can't be something that we just let, let slide and let go. I think if we did that, we would lose it. I would love to see us maintaining this fabulous presence and the, the tradition, the history, the experience of going to a Salesian school I hope we never lose that. I hope that is still available here. For me, Salesian College really is, is a great place for students and teachers. I know myself. Looking at the outside, outside looking in, it's the kind of school that I would have liked to have gone to myself when I was a student many years ago and the friends that you make in Salesian College really are the friends for life. In Salesian College, 
uh, has a fine reputation for looking after all of our students, not only the most academic students, but also those students who, for whatever reason, need additional help and support at whatever level that, that is at. I think everyone in the Selvage area above or not in the Selvage area should come to Salesians basically based on how great of skill it is, academic wise, sport wise, activities wise, teacher wise, and it's a great environment for students to be in. If you're looking to find yourself as a person and to express the beliefs that or activities that you want to progress in the future, I would, I would like highly recommend Salesian College as it's a loving community and it'll open you, like it'll let you in with open arms. It's a very, very welcoming school. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this school because um, they really, really helped me to develop as a person. I had a great experience here. I enjoy all the subjects. The teachers are all very nice and the school is opening to all, everyone. I think Salesian College will give you a lot of opportunities and it will really I've only been here two months but I already feel part of the community. I feel um, part of this um, whole community here and it really makes you feel, Salesian College really makes you feel welcome. It's a loving place where everyone's kind. We would like to welcome you to Salesian College. We are very proud of our experience. We're very proud of our tradition. We believe the Salesian ethos is different and it adds something to a young man's life. And when we do our assemblies in our school, we talk about uh, the, the idea of being of reasonableness and, and loving kindness, and that we treat each other, boys, teachers, staff, students, each other with respect. It'll be an experience you'll enjoy, and it'll be an experience where you'll be in a Salesian school where the Salesian community and the staff are there to help you. Um, what should I say? Come along and see for yourselves and uh, make up your minds and hearts and give yourself a chance.